Welcome Capricorn. Okay, so we are going to look at what is going on for you at this in this part of your journey we call life and see if we can help you uh, along that journey. Okay, so I'm Juanita and today we are using the Cosmic Reading Cards and the Osho Zen Tarot. I've already pulled the Cosmic Reading Cards to save us time because shuffling with me can take a long time sometimes so let's get into it shall we so first off Capricorn we have let go okay this is about letting go of control right and that takes a lot of effort and it, it's hard to break control is a really hard thing to let go of you know it, it, Everything feels, I want to say, kind of strangled, I guess. And I guess that's kind of like showing this picture here. But I've never really got that from this card before. It feels like there's this strangling. Um, and I feel like this is about this control. Like, it's you're trying to hold on so tight that it's like you're actually strangling yourself. In a sense, it's like an anaconda, like wrapping itself up, up around on itself. And, um, and you know, because at the end of the day, if you don't let go, Capricorn, the universe will take care of that for you. And whatever change that needs to occur from you letting go of control um, will then occur in a much more difficult way than what it would if you let go of control and allow things to naturally take their path. Okay. Yeah. So let's have a look what we have here. Source. The source. Okay. See now normally this feels is this card for me is about going within and connecting with source and I want to say that because I do feel like that's part of it because I see this light here and I feel like this is about you needing to let go and rise up and connect with source. Yes. However, I also feel like this could very well be you getting to the source of this control because there's a reason why you hold on so tightly why you are holding on so tightly because I don't feel like you always do in every situation but for some reason this situation you are and there's a reason for that and I feel like once you are able to put your finger on the reason why it will be easier for you to deal with and dissolve I'm not going to be like, oh, it'll be a piece of cake. Because letting go isn't a piece of cake. Letting go is, it, it's a mental effort. It's a, a spiritual effort, an emotional effort, right? It's, it's physically demanding, the whole thing, you know? So it's not easy. Um, but this here, okay, it's like, it. okay, so this is you in this bird cage. And... You know, I feel like the cage is controlling you. Actually, do you know what? You could be the cage. Um, mm, no, that doesn't make sense. No, sorry. It's not the case. You're not the cage, but you feel like you're part of the cage. You feel like you are the cage, but you are not the cage. The cage... It's almost like the cage has you. It's like, yeah, it's it, the cage can't exist unless you're in it. This is what it's like. And until you step out of the cage, the cage will always have a purpose. Okay, and the cage holds the power. That's what I'm trying to say. The cage has the power and it holds the power. And 
This could also be Capricorn that there is someone around you who wants to step out of your grasp and you're holding on tightly because you don't want to let them go. But the thing is the bars are down and they're going to fly anyway. They're just getting the, it's like, you know, kind of like cranking up the motor, getting ready. So it's either one way or the other. So take it as it resonates with you, okay? How it applies to your story. Interesting. Very interesting. You've given me two cards here that I've gotten something way new from. Okay, so be still. Did I say Sagittarius before? I called you Capricorn, didn't I? I don't even know. Anyway, letting it go. Be still. Okay, this is... It, okay, so this is about stopping and breathing. Every time you feel this pain arise, every time you feel this rage, this, this lack of control, okay? Just stay still and breathe, Capricorn. Feel the emotions. Okay, and, and try to understand where they're coming from. Yeah, try and get to the source of them, right? Because the triggers, they're old. They are old triggers, okay? And they need compassion and acknowledgement, yeah? Be kind to them, okay? This, this source, wherever this is coming from, this need to cling... There's a reason for it. And I feel like this is about inner child. I feel like, actually, this child has been locked up inside of you and hasn't been allowed out to fly free. And it's time now to allow the child to come out and acknowledge and hear the child and allow it to have a voice and fly free. There's part of you that you've caged in. And it's holding you back. And you feel like it's comfortable. But it's actually now the comfort has become the uncomfort. The discomfort. The uncomfort. Yeah. Okay. Flying high enough to see what possibilities there are seeing things from a different perspective, seeing things from a higher perspective, okay, coming from your higher self and seeing where the sun shines from, right? Seeing that there is beauty if you just look around. Allowing your master, your masterful self to come through and shine its light, connecting with this master of who you truly are, Capricorn, because this is who you truly are. You've held this part of you locked in this cage for so long. It's time to let it fly. Rise up and shine your light and be the master of who you truly are, yeah? Allow the truth of, the, of your own inner source to come through, okay? That didn't come out. That sounded better in my head. But anyway, um, celebration. Yep, you, there, there is some stuff that you've been through, you know, and, and I feel like with this inner child coming up here, you've been through quite a bit for some of you. And I want to say that you have come through. This is the whole point. You've come through so much, Capricorn. Okay, and I want to say celebrate. Oh, obviously it's on the card, but celebrate that even though there's still changes that need to be made, even though there's still growth to be had, celebrate how far you have actually come. Okay. Um, make changes that need to be made. Okay, if you make mistakes, make them. If you fail, you fail. 
so what I know this you know sometimes it's makes you cringe but you learn from these things, right? It's it's like this flower here has come up. These leaves here haven't seen the sun, so they're not shining like these leaves are that have seen the sun. And this is what I feel like you have hidden yourself away down here and not allowed yourself to be shone upon. I don't even know what card to grab because they all to me, whoops, sorry, shaking you away there. I'm shaking you up. Come on, Capricorn. Um, I feel like they are all saying this, right? So I'm like, I'm going to grab a card to make the point and all that. Which card do I grab? So yeah, you know, but you also have have made some growth and you there are parts of you that are out there and shining and blooming and blossoming. There's other parts of you though that need to be acknowledged and need understanding. Okay, and need to stop being put in the shadows and need to come up into the sun this was the appropriate card <laughs> I found it yay um so yeah okay so yeah celebration and also Capricorn celebrate who you are because that is worth celebrating some of you look at only your mistakes or only the things that have gone wrong and you don't celebrate all the good things there's a few cards that turned over there, but I'm going to, what were these ones, just in case they jump out again. Okay. Um, the Miser and Guidance, these two came out. Hiding yourself here. Hiding yourself. Look at this one, turning away of being, you know, the power of like, I'm here on. It's like, no, 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 don't look. Um, anyway, those weren't the ones that I was going to choose. But anyhow, fighting internal fighting I feel like this is putting them on this armor and getting ready for the battle getting ready to go and fight and really no one else is there but you you're the only one fighting you okay um it's like this internal battle that's going on in your mind and and yeah you're like oh I should but no don't do that but yeah I, sh I really I really want to but oh no you shouldn't because what if this happens and what if that happens and remember that time this happened that's all ego like nah ego is controlling the situation right it's about letting go of that ego because it's no longer serving you and know that you know like have a chat with the ego and be like hey dude I know that you're trying to help me here and I know that you've protected me in the past and I appreciate that and if there's really a bad situation where a tiger's chasing after me and you're telling me to run, I'm going to listen. But right now, I need to go over here and allow my light to shine. Okay, um, sorry. <sighs> Heavy. This fighting, this internal battling is causing you sorrow. It's almost like something's happened and you're reliving it in your mind and that's actually causing you to continuously go over the trauma of what has happened it's not helping to heal you because it's not productive it's it's repetitive and i feel like if you're going to do that capricorn you need to find a new way to um actually work through that process because this is keeping you up at night and it's it's really weighing heavy on you excuse me okay so this is something that i would say you know these parts here that haven't shone or these parts here that haven't worked out um forgive those situations forgive yourself in that situation yeah because you're the one who actually needs the nurturing and the love here okay balance Okay, so this really is looking at how your external world reflects your inner world, right? And, you know, are there challenges in your life that are zapping your energy right now? What is going on in your life? You know, and maybe this is these two here. Maybe there's a lot of squabbling and, and you know, is this really sucking your energy um I yeah like take the time to nurture yourself yeah 
especially if you've made mistakes in the past. Okay, let go of all that guilt. Let go of that and tap into the source of who you truly are. Because beating yourself up for mistakes in the past is actually not going to solve anything. Okay, it's not going to achieve anything. It's already done. It's time to forgive yourself, okay, and make the transformation. You have all the tool tools. It's time to rise up, okay, because I feel like... There's this phoenix here rising up from the ashes, and I feel like you were the phoenix. It just sounds so cliche. I didn't want to say it like that, but that's the only way it came out. But you you do have the tools and the ability to do that, but it's like you lack this trust in yourself, and this cage is hot. You know, it's kind of like that's why you put this cage around you, partly as a protection at one point, which served you, but it no longer is and it's time to open up and let yourself fly free from that, okay? And this transformation feels very intense for you right now. Very intense. It's moving super fast and, and it scares you. It really does scare you, which might be why you're clinging on a lot tighter. So here we have world between worlds. World within worlds, sorry. Okay, so this is again about this balancing your inner world okay so that you can impact the outer world right so there's this these two again so this is a very crucial message for you here capricorn um and it's like if there's say like some cells in your body right that are sick you're going to do what you need to do to nurture those cells and make them better Okay, and part of this is actually about the earth being one cell of the universe, okay? So we are just on one particle of the bigger picture, yeah? Remembering that, that, you know, we are just the speck in this whole picture here, okay? And so we need to make sure that our vibration is such that it helps to nurture this earth so that the, the planet can contribute to the rest of the, the universe, yeah? And so this really is lifting your vibration so that you have that part to play in it because you're a very important part of that, okay? And by doing that, you also lead the way for others because you are very much a leader Capricorn and I feel like others will see you make these changes and do this for yourself and start to fly free and they'll be like huh hmm, Capricorn's doing that maybe I could too hey Capricorn how did you do that and what did you do and you'll be able to guide people through that process here yeah? so I feel like that's quite important for you to to really really um Take that on board, okay, and yeah, and, and get that vibration up. Oh, that's my age. <laughs> Ooh, getting up. <laughs> okay, existence. Um, this is just perfect for this card because this is you realizing that you are part of source, right? Source is within you. Um, there is no difference between you and the universe. You, inside your body, is a whole complete universe in itself. It's like a mini universe, all working energetically together as one to make everything work, just like the earth is, and we're all part of that, making all that work together. So realizing that your existence, like I have already said, is crucial. Or I can't even say crucial. And accentuate that enough. Okay, so postponement. Going within. Tapping into this existence. Tapping into the source. Okay, because what you want your outer world to look like is this inner world. So we, what we want to do is we want to get the inner world to look nice and colourful and pretty. 
okay so that that is reflected on the outer world because what happens is if the inner world isn't in this state of beauty the outer world will have nothing we to reflect back to it's only going to reflect back to us what we are putting out which is exactly what mirrored souls are about okay and this is you know really about people who are around you and you know there could be someone irritating the heck out of you right now and um what's happening is they are triggering things within you that need to be addressed and need to be looked at yeah these sorts of relationships are, are tough you know because they highlight the 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 i want to say bad but no one's really bad per se but you know they highlight the parts of ourselves that we don't like all right and they also highlight the good parts of ourselves as well which is why these relationships can be so intense it doesn't have to be romantic it could be any you know siblings parents friendships whatever work relationships um yeah so you know people only reflect what is going on in us yeah so if you're attracting people who are challenging you okay and causing chaos okay and there's the, all this going on in your life this is where what needs to be addressed here yeah okay and um again like look at this inner child nurture the inner child that is there okay <sighs> be gentle with yourself this also helps you to see how people need to be loved and how you need to be loved okay this will show you what other people's inner wounds are what is it that is triggering them and it doesn't mean to say that you put up with circumstances and, and put up with situations which are toxic you don't do that all right but what you do do is do the work on yourself so that you can heal from things okay wow i don't think i picked up all those cards there but patience be patient with yourself let things happen as they need to okay go with the cycle don't be too impatient okay take your time with this but while you're taking your time make sure you are doing the work okay Again, this nurturing is coming in really strongly here. And that does take time. Look at these two. They're the same, one and the same. Turning in. Quietening all these voices here. Okay, going on in your mind. All this external, you know, it could be people like, oh, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do that, blah, 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 blah. Just going in, turning in, going within being still and allowing yourself just to quieten down and hear yourself speak and that will help to calm your emotions okay and have patience things take time realize Capricorn that as you go through life step by step there's something to learn on each step of the way okay this lady didn't grow her hair that long within a week that took time okay and by the time she got it that long it had turned gray okay so don't expect too much too soon all right be patient like you would with a child trying like learning to walk you know you don't expect them to walk immediately you allow them and encourage them and that's what you need to do for yourself okay and know that the work takes constant effort okay and so it's not like you can just do a little bit and then slack off and then that's it nothing else to be done it takes constant effort like learning to write for example or learning to spell you know and you're going to make mistakes and you're going to you know know that that's the time that you remember that word and how to spell it because you did it wrong right this is an adventure. Treat it like an adventure, right? Have a different perspective. Rise above and see it differently than what you're seeing it. Rather than seeing it as a challenge or a, oh God, this thing's happening and I don't want it to happen. Treat it like an adventure. It's something to learn. 
a new journey to go on. Don't be lazy. Do the work. Yeah, this guy wants to vacation and he can't be bothered. He didn't bother booking the flights and he didn't bother booking the accommodations. So he just sits in his kitchen pretending he's on holiday. This is also um, shattering the illusion, right? Being truthful with yourself, being real with yourself, yeah? Okay, also he may not have gone on holiday because he has fears. He's afraid. <laughs> okay, he's afraid. Like this is fear of failure, criticisms, success, mistakes, judgments, right? It builds walls, Capricorn. Fears build wall, builds walls. Oh my gosh, I can't even get the words out. You know what I'm trying to say though. Okay, so you know what happens when we build walls is that we don't let anything in we're like we do that to protect ourselves cage ourselves in but what happens is not only you know do we think we're protecting ourselves but in the actual fact we actually block everything from coming our way you know we block opportunities we block love we, we block success we block growth yeah suppression it suppresses us it holds us back, and this is what we do to ourselves, okay? And it places a burden upon us where we can no longer grow, and it gets heavier and heavier and heavier, and we have to go through our lives carrying that, and it, it's really not worth it. This is comparison. This here is, um, you know, realizing that you are, oh, oh, hang on, sorry, let me start again here. These two are trees. They are both trees, but they are completely different. But they both serve a purpose, one as crucial as the other. They are both invaluable in different ways. And it's the same for you. So stop comparing yourself to others, okay? And understanding that your value that of your existence in this world is just as as crucial as the next person's no matter what that looks like from the outside okay because you have something within you that no one else does there is no one else like you there never has been and there never will be oh what am i doing surrender okay so this is surrendering to the natural cycles of life right just letting go okay so i love how this is at the end here and let go was at, at the beginning yeah so like and and whatever it is you know whatever's happened even if this new cycle is unwelcome by you um just surrendering to it anyway like look at her just surrendering and going oh it, it releases the burdens yeah accept what is Okay, surrender to holding on to the situation, right? And, and it will bring, bring peace and miracles and blessings um, because there's no resistance to those things coming in anymore. There's, it, it's going to break down those walls, you know, and you're actually going to be able to allow them in. So this is very important for you, Capricorn, to surrender. And sometimes that's the easiest way to just do it. Just go, oh, I've had enough, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to let it happen, right? Trust, trust that you're on the right path, that the journey is the one you're meant to be on, okay? Trust that you can do this. Trust that you can fly. Don't jump off a cliff or anything, though, because you can't really fly, unless you're a bird. But I love that, because look at this. This is both the same, right? Trust. Trust that you can do this. Trust you've got this. Have faith in yourself. Oh my gosh, yes, Capricorn. Have faith in yourself. Surrender. Anything else for surrender for Capricorn, please? See how long it takes to shuffle? There you go. Nothingness. I love this to eat. I love it. Love it. Yes, this is about, like, this is where you will find this inner master, where you will find this source, where this 
existence is where you rise up from the ashes <sighs> patience turning in what else have we got trust nothingness going into the nothingness oh my gosh it's not even black because it's reflecting <laughs> oh well uh, it's black <laughs> um but if it, it, it is really going into the nothingness that just the isness the stillness Turning in, okay, and knowing that the light is shone upon the dark, okay, the dark exists for a reason, the dark exists for us to grow from, the sun can't rise unless there's been dark, does that even make sense, I know what I mean, but you know what I mean, right? Yin and yang can't exist if there wasn't the darkness with the light, right? So this is where it's important for you to embrace this journey, okay? And tap into the nothingness because this is what is going to create change for you and it's going to make it a lot easier for you to travel this journey all right Capricorn I'm with you you've got this have faith in yourself because you can do this 100% no you can do this okay take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye